Warning, this experiment uses a lot of chlorine gas. Even short time exposures at low concentration can cause irritation and respiratory distress. It's a strong oxidizer which may react with flammable materials. Hydrochloric acid and iron 2 chloride are both corrosive and must be handled with care. All parts of the experiment must be performed under a fume hood. Hi YouTubers, today we'll be making iron 2 chloride. And there you have it. Well, okay, we we're actually looking for something with a little more possessed, so... A one liter round bottom flask was fitted with a PVC hose, which was then fed through a makeshift rubber lid, going down into a two liter Allen Meyer flask. A set funnel was then placed atop the round bottom flask. Now, 400 milliliters of 0.6 molar sodium hypochlorite solution was added to the round bottom, followed by the addition of 50 milliliters of 8 molar hydrochloric acid to the set funnel. The valve was then opened and the hydrochloric acid was allowed to react with the hypochlorite solution, forming sodium chloride, water, and chlorine. After a while the bottle should show a green yellow discoloration which then travels up the tube and down the oil and mild flask. And depending on the actual quality of your hydrochloric acid or hypochlorite, additional volumes may be necessary in order for the reaction to run to completion. When the flask had obtained a dense mist of chlorine, the hose was removed and a fluffed piece of iron wool was added to the flask. The high surface area of the iron wool will usually allow it to self ignite in this chlorine rich atmosphere. If not, a smaller piece could be lit and added in order to get the reaction going. Here, equal parts of iron and chlorine gas reacts to form iron 2 chloride. The flask could now be washed with distilled water in order to obtain an iron 2 chloride solution. However, this method is really more for show than the production of iron 2 chloride, and for the latter, I'll have referred to Nerd Rage's video on the subject. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.